If you want to continue to follow our adventure, click subscribe. So you don't miss anything, click the bell notification. Well, today's view of the uh, Gulf Coast is a little uh, fogged in. So I would imagine this isn't going to be very pretty for you, but there you stand in here. Actually being in it is really neat. It's just, it's just incredible. Wish you guys could be here to see it. So today uh, is, is moving day. We're gonna, we're gonna head off. We've been at Dad's for a couple, a few weeks now. It's a good time to talk about difficulties of trying to find campgrounds and, and this misconception. And sometimes I, I worry about, about being misled by YouTubers and people who comment on YouTube uh, web pages and Facebook. If you really dig into what people are saying, they're pushing an agenda that doesn't make sense. I don't understand why they're pushing it. Uh, I made a video the other day and it was really, you know, about the complications of trying to get down old dirt roads and different things and getting stuck. And this guy writes, and I don't know why he wrote, but he, he was insisting it is not as hard to find camping as what I make it out to be. I mean, he said, going out west, it's very easy to find camping. You can camp anywhere. Basically, if you just pull up, you can camp. He says, I don't know what the deal with Florida is, but boy, it is not as hard as what I'm making it out to be. And then he goes in and says, you can park on any street, anywhere, spend the night, move on down the road. Well, there's a bunch of things to this. Right after I got that comment i mean like minutes afterwards somebody sent me a link to a youtube channel of somebody out in california now the guy who commented to me specifically called out california so easy to find camp, uh, camp, some place to camp in california well then this youtuber he pulls off the side of the road and he st spends the night well police officer knocks on his door says hey it's illegal to, to sleep here you're gonna have to move he says i'm not gonna give you a ticket or anything he says but it appears that you have a couple of tickets on your windshield. So this couple, they go up to the windshield and they got a warning and a ticket. The warning was at 4 p.m. Now they weren't sleeping in the camper at this time, but the, they got a warning saying they couldn't park there. At 8 p.m., uh, I guess the, the meter maid came around again, gave them a ticket, an 80 something dollar ticket, I think he said $85 ticket, $86 ticket, for parking there. Again, they weren't actually sleeping in the camper at this time. They were just parked on the side of the street. No parking restrictions, no signs saying they couldn't park. I'll come to find out, the reason they couldn't park there was their camper was, according to the meter maid, was above seven feet tall, and a longer than 20 feet well first of all he didn't think his camper was longer than 20 feet but regardless well anyway so he was talking to the meter maid that gave him the ticket and they said yeah 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 you it's in the web page and there's three signs in town that you can't have vehicles and taller than seven feet tall so no you can't just park anywhere and i know this i know this for a fact actually i was in missouri we were visiting carolyn's daughter in her town and we were parked in the street she didn't have it she lives in an apartment so you have to park on the street and the police officer came over this is complicated he came out he didn't know the laws what it was he came out and says i don't think you can sleep here well i said we were just visiting and he says well i'm gonna go back to the police station and find out if you can sleep here or not when he came back he said well actually there's no law saying you can't but and here's the big but I looked it up while he was gone on the city webpage. And what they said was you could not have campers, travel trailers, RVs, those kind of things, parked on their city streets. Well, I was really nervous that I was going to get a ticket because, you know, well, am I a camper or am I a truck? My truck is licensed as a truck, not a camper. And so the police officer looked at this homemade camper I have as cargo which is actually what it is so he was in he was following the law to the letter actually and I was in compliance with the law but had I had an RV a licensed RV you cannot be in that town actually I got to thinking about this if I had been in an RV living in my RV I would have gotten a ticket the courthouse for the county is in that town 
So in order to go pay my ticket, I would have to have taken my RV, parked it on a street to go pay the ticket because my RV is not allowed on the city street. So I would have gotten another ticket possibly. See, I mean, so no, you can't just park anywhere that you want to park. I've talked about this a lot. There was this YouTuber says there's two types of people. Those who ask for permission and those who ask for forgiveness. Yeah, I've heard this before. Well, if you're getting a ticket, then you didn't ask for forgiveness good enough. Well, this couple in California, they didn't even realize they were in violation of anything. They just assumed, since there was no sign saying no overnight staying or no parking or whatever, that they could park there. And they got a ticket. There was no begging for forgiveness or any of this. The meter maid came up, gave them a ticket. Boom, done. So I think living the lifestyle of uh, asking for forgiveness is a dangerous lifestyle to live. Think about this young couple. They didn't do the research and as a result, they had to pay an $86 ticket or will have to pay an $86 ticket for one night stay, just about the cost of a hotel room in which they didn't actually get to stay the entire night. So let's just say they, they only got to spend half the night. So they paid double for this one parking spot and a ticket than you would have paid in a hotel cost, a cheap hotel. So I'm the type of person that wants to know what the laws are so I never have to ask for forgiveness. I can just say, oh, well, I know I can't park here. You know, after that one time I made that mistake, I check now. So when I get comments like this and, I, uh, and people start replying to those comments, oh, wow, yeah, that's a good point. You know, I didn't think of that. Yeah, you can just park anywhere. It's great, you know, oh, and so people start feeding into these comments and I worry that the folks who are feeding into it, imaginary lifestyle where you can just park anywhere in the country and you're gonna be fine, don't worry about it. When I'm sitting here trying to say, look, it, this is kind of complicated. When you wanna follow the, the rules and the laws and you don't wanna pay $86 a night to park on the side of the street that you're gonna to have to move on, move in the middle of the night anyways, you know, that's gonna get kind of expensive pretty quick. Thanks for watching. Click like if you like video and happy travels.